Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today with the Miller T94i Hard Hat Papper Edition. Uh, so in this video, we're going to go over what this unit comes with, the features of this, this guy here, um, and everything that is positive about this unit and what, what we like and we don't like about it. Uh, but we'll dive right in here. So the hood comes in a nice bag, comes with the, the blower motor, the hose, lenses, an extra filter, filters inside of here too, an extra battery. I, I click the battery in to show you guys the screen. Comes with your charging cable, all the stuff you need. Inside the hose pack, it comes with your tester to see if your filter is bad so that your flow rate will the ball flow. I, I did that in another video. We'll link that down below. Um, this thing is either a belt. You can click it as like a belt or do it as like a backpack as well. Uh, pretty awesome. I, I like the weight on it. It's pretty light with the battery in it and the filter in it. Um, so it's a HEPA filter. It's ANSI approved. It's NIOSH approved. So everything, it's got all the approval ratings on it. Uh, but one of the biggest things why we wanted to do this video is, is because this is the hard headed version. So if you buy a T94 Papper, T94i Papper, you cannot adapt the hard head to it. So in the past, we've gotten a lot of questions. Well, I got this one. Can I? You can't do it. You gotta buy the hard hat edition to do it. So this one comes with a hard hat, and I'll show you underneath this little baklava there. It's a silver hard hat. Um, it is a legitimate hard hat strapped in there. It just clicks in. Um, but you gotta buy this unit. You cannot adapt your T94i Papper existing one to the hard hat. Um, there, and then this one also has the flip up clear lens with it. You get a you get a bag of those too as well, the replacements on those. Um, this is clear light 2.0 technology, awesome lens. T94 has been a very popular hood. Um, I know a lot of people, and you know, I, I'll, I'll, I'll knock them here, some people don't like the look of it. Um, I don't mind it at all. They, they're actually very, very clear. They're very, very nice to weld with. I like the side view windows, um, but a lot of people say it kind of looks funny. I, it doesn't bother me one bit. But, it's a very nice hood. So we got on the inside, and I can try and pop that lens out. But you got hat, uh, it'll do half shade as well. So we can go nine, nine and a half, ten, ten and a half, eleven, that sort of thing. Um, very cool to do. Here, I'll pop this out. And get a better look at if I can get it out of there. But it's got that high reflective paint, and it's got a high reflective aluminum shield on the front of that lens as well. So we'll pop that out and I'll show you guys here. We'll pop that off. We'll turn it on. We can get it to come on. All right, so there you go. It comes up. Uh, we're in weld mode. We have cut mode. We have grind mode. And we also have X mode, which X mode sync, or recognizes the electromagnetic pulse. Auto darkens with that. Then we go back to weld. And I'll show you on the, the shade there. 12 and a half, 12, 11 and a half, 11, 10 and a half, 10. So kind of unique to this all the way down to eight. Um, everyone kind of is skeptical about half shades. I like it. I've used them. You know, going from using eight, nine, or 10, and then you go to like a nine and a half or 10. We found that some of the older gentlemen out there that weld in the field, they like half shades because they can't see at nine, but they can't. They, it's too bright at eight, eight and a half works. Might be a superstitious thing, but it works. They like it. Um, it's just pretty neat. You can get in there and half shades. So you got an arc time monitor, an arc count, so it'll it'll measure how many how much time you've welded with this, and then how many arcs you've struck with this. It's got two memory settings. We can do delay and sensitivity. So we have our delay and sensitivity. We can adjust all that. So just all in all, an awesome little lens. Um, very clear. Another thing to note. If you do have to have warranty work, there's your serial number right there on that lens. So what we found is a lot of the hardware in these holds up great, doesn't go bad, uh, but sometimes the lenses go bad. And, and to get a warranty, there's a four-year warranty on this. Um, you just need that serial number. Let us know, and then we can help you out with your warranty claim on that. Pop that back in. And then I'm going to try this thing on here, see how this hard hat fits. Everything back together. So I like how that, <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm real partial to the front lens clip. That way instead of pulling it out of the back, you can just pull it out of the front. Um, and they did this that way too because obviously we have a clear grinding shield right there. Let me try this thing on here. We'll get it, get it on my head. We'll see how it fits. Not 
bad at all. Fits pretty nice. Oh yeah. Real clear, I got wide viewing range about right to about right to there. I can see either way. Same thing with this too. Because of these ports here, I got a pretty decent viewing range for the So I don't have to take this thing on and off. It's pretty nice. Okay. So nice, fits nice, pretty comfortable with that hard hat on there. Um, now again, this is for those people that are required to wear hard hats while they're welding. And then obviously the pepper is just an added feature that is awesome because it, it works well, it keeps your air clean, filters out all the nonsense that you shouldn't be breathing anyways. Let me fire this powered unit up. Like I said, real light, I'll show you the filter. This thing just pops out of there, filters right there, motor, and we got a little pre-filter. Now everyone always asks what, what is the lifespan of that filter? Um, you'll see on the screen here, they say 500 hours. I say, what environment are you in? That's what I always ask the question of. Is it heavy flux core welding, heavy stick welding, or are you just doing light stainless TIG or something like that? It de really depends because those filters will last a lot longer than you think unless you're in like a heavy duty environment where everything is really, really dirty. Uh, let's fire this up. You can see there, got another and it's given us fan speed, max airflow through the filter, and our battery. Now, let's see if we can increase that fan speed. Go, so that's low and high. We can go all the way up to high. Pretty awesome there. And then we hit info, it gives us our filter lifetime, and says max 500 hours, but it's going to count down. It's going to count up the hours up to 500. Go down to two. It's got a clock in there. Go external LED, which is that you need to shut that off, but that's telling you uh, what that filter life is at. Got an LCD contrast, which is good. You can turn that up and down. Bring this. Flip that angle around if you're, if you're used to doing it. You can flip the belt so you can look at it, or if you take it off and adjust, you can flip all that. But, So it's blowing some pretty good air. I'll shut this down. So this was designed too with nice heavy duty buttons. That way you can turn it on and off when it's on your back or on your belt. Uh, pretty easy. The battery just slides in there. And then the charging port, I can get it out of there. there we go. And then there's your battery there. There again, there's your charging port on that battery. So it just, it slides in like that and then clicks down. Very simple to put on there. Um, all in all, very nice unit. Very rugged as far as all the clips and buckles and everything. Um, I like the backpack style myself. It relieves weight on your, on your lower back, helps with the shoulder straps, and I use the belt as well. Very cool, um, but if you're needing a hard hat packer, I would check this T94i hard hat edition out. Awesome, great hood. Um, if you got any questions, comments, leave them down below. We'll do our best to answer them. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for some more.